Hello. There we go. As you can see up there, my name's Tracy Thomas and I'm the Chief HR Officer for Cardiff Council. Um, as you might be able to tell by the accent, I'm not originally from Cardiff. I moved here in 1999 um, and I've worked for Cardiff Council since 2008 and became their Chief HR Officer earlier this year. It's a brilliant role, great role. Um, I get to see how the support that HR give to the organisation allows us to provide excellent services for our citizens, which makes Cardiff a great place to live, work and play. Today I want to talk to you about the journey to building an inclusive organisation that Cardiff Council has gone through. When I moved to Cardiff, I was surprised to discover that it is one of the oldest ethnically diverse communities in Britain. From the early 1800s to the time of the Second World War, migrants from over 50 different countries came to the city to work, initially in the coal export industry and then in occupations linked to international trade. In Butte Town itself, there are records that suggest 50 to 60 different nationalities live side by side in just a few streets as far back as the 1840s. To help, you, to help me tell you about our journey, I'd like to introduce you to Bobby. Bobby started working at Cardiff Council in November 2020, and Bobby's grandfather is synonymous with Cardiff Council as he is the very familiar Cardiff logo. Bobby grew up listening to tales and stories of their grandfather's days in the council. Bobby loved listening to their grandfather talking about the council, the people who worked there, and the citizens that relied on the services it provided. Bobby's grandfather was proud to be chosen to be the logo for Cardiff Council, and Bobby grew up aspiring to be part of the organisation. One of Bobby's grandfather's favourite sayings was, diversity doesn't look like anyone, it looks like everyone. This had a profound effect on Bobby growing up and helped to guide and shape who Bobby was to become today. When Bobby started working for Cardiff Council, they went to the newly developed, with it, the newly developed role within the Connect Cardiff team. Bobby's role was to support the team in answering incoming calls from citizens and help to resolve their queries and issues. Bobby loved the role immediately. It was rewarding, varied, exciting, but at times also challenging. One of the really good things that Bobby discovered about the council is the employee networks. These networks that we have within the council are employee-led and help support colleagues who have a protected characteristic. For Bobby, this has been such a positive thing, as Bobby's naturally shy and doesn't always open up easily to people. When they started working for the council, Bobby was encouraged to be an advocate and to help for inform changes in their role and the wider team that will provide better services to our citizens. Bobby has seen the networks has helped others feel welcomed and supported. And if anyone wasn't sure which network to join, they could become a friend of the networks and were able to support and help each other to achieve some amazing things. I'm going to tell you now about some of the things that the networks have done. So starting off with our disability network, they've helped us gain disability confident employer status. Cardiff Council subscribes to the social model of disability, which makes the important difference between impairment and disability. With the social model, disability is understood to be the results of the barrier society has created that prevents the inclusion of people with impairments, not the impairment itself. This also includes people's attitudes to disability. The network has hosted virtual coffee mornings, and one of those included a Q&A session with some colleagues about their lived experiences of autism and how it impacts on them. They've also hosted the Time to Talk Day, which focused on mental health. And they've actively supported the rollout of the Hidden Disability Sunflower Scheme. And we're the only employer in Wales to have that scheme in, like, present. The next new network is our Carers Network. They helped us accomplish Carer Confident Level 2 status. Research from the CIPD has shown that almost a third of working carers have not discussed their caring role in the workplace. A quarter of working carers were also considering giving up their jobs entirely because of having to balance work and care. It's really important to us that we support our employees who are juggling complex personal and work lives. 
the network has hosted a careers week, which included a wide range of talks on how to support carers in the workplace. They've also rolled out the Start Into Care conversation. These are virtual sessions with colleagues from Carers Wales talking about the best way to start a conversation about being a carer at work. The next network is our LGBT plus network and they've helped us gain Stonewall Diversity Champion status. Inclusion drives better individual, business and organisational outcomes. A 2018 report found that nationally, more than a third of LGBT plus staff have hidden that they're LGBT plus at work due to fear of discrimination. Nearly two in five bi people aren't out to anyone at work and one in 10 black, Asian and minority ethnic LGBT plus employees have been physically attacked by customers or colleagues in the 12 months prior to the research. That is not acceptable to anybody. The network have celebrated Pride Month with a number of virtual sessions and online events. Two of the co-chairs have participated in a virtual discussion hosted by the Proud Councils. Proud Councils bring together the majority of local authorities in South Wales. They've also hosted regular coffee mornings with discussions around a variety of pertinent and significant topics. In addition, members of the network were very excited to learn that one of the co-chairs of the network founded Glitter Cymru, which is a support group for LGBT plus ethnic minority people in South Wales. Our Black, Asian and Minority Ethnic Network have been instrumental in the council signing up to the Race at Work Charter. In the UK, too many individuals from an ethnic minority background still face discrimination and disadvantage when trying to get into work and progress at work compared to their white British peers. Addressing this issue is not just about tackling discrimination, it's also about boosting business performance and developing a more innovative organisation. The network promotes various religious events and festivals throughout the year, such as Ramadan and Diwali, and helps myself and others to understand their significance. They actively drive change by identifying areas of improvement. We're currently looking at developing a number of initiatives in response to their input, including creating more diverse recruitment panels, targeted leadership development, and a reverse mentoring scheme for all members of the networks. Our final network is our Women's Network. They hosted an event marking International Women's Day which included a talk by the BAFTA award-winning Welsh actress and screenwriter, Kayleigh Flewellyn. Gender diversity in the workplace can have positive effects across the organisation. It ensures that a wider talent pool is harnessed and the organisation benefits from different points of view and perspectives, sparking creativity and innovation. It's also been proven that having mixed gender groups can, move, can improve team dynamics and boost collaboration. The network have worked in partnership with our internal training department, Cardiff Academy, to roll out training and support for employees and managers around the menopause. And they're also currently working on a similar program around fertility. They've also launched a network-wide coaching scheme, which members are very keen to sign up to. Recently, all the networks took part in a recent Network Events Week, and that was helped to raise the profile of each of our networks to ensure that all employees were aware of the support that's available to them. And this is something that will be an annual event from now on. Let's go back to Bobby's journey in the council. When Bobby started in the council's Connect to Cardiff team, it was the middle of the pandemic. One of the first things Bobby's manager said was, Inclusivity, inclusivity means not just we're allowed to be there, but we are valued. Smart teams will do amazing things, but truly diverse teams will do impossible things. This is definitely something that Bobby has contributed throughout the last two years as Cardiff Council has managed with a pandemic. Some of the things that we've been involved in is we've been helping to support the most vulnerable in our communities across the city. We've worked closely with our partners and you might not know that we were involved in these, but to put in place pandemics, manage the pandemic, put new services in place, such as things like the mass vaccination centres, that you all be aware of, we were integral in doing that, and Cardiff Council actually run the track and trace system within Cardiff. 
Our outreach teams have done amazing work to support citizens across Cardiff, where they've been able to tailor services during the pandemic to meet individual service users' needs, including looking after our older people, providing food packages, and looking after our homeless, and providing hostels and ho taking over hotels in order to remove our homeless people off the streets, and to deal with people with significant health issues that were shielded throughout the pandemic. Bobby has been key in our active process around social media during the pandemic, both to employees and to citizens. Bobby himself has been a fresh breath of fresh air for the Connect to Cardiff team. They've helped the team to look at things in new and different ways. Bobby has not been put off by the, this is how he's always done it attitude. They've been quick to look for ways to make improvements and suggest changes that deliver a better service. Bobby is inquisitive and not afraid to ask questions, something we really value at Cardiff Council. Bobby feels that he's found their niche at the Council, a place where they can feel accepted and valued for who they are and for their contribution to the greater good for the organisation. Bobby's got goals and aspirations and is determined to make their grandfather proud. One day, they'd like to develop their role so they can provide support for a greater number of services. Bobby also recognises that change can take time, but they'll always focus on the end result. Bobby is already identifying opportunities for improvement and can see how their role will support the agendas and initiatives of the council is signed up to and committed to delivering. They want to support the council to be greener, fairer and stronger, be inclusive and safe, be flexible in the way that we deliver better outcomes for the people of Cardiff. Be an organisation that adopts multi-location working, where the focus is on the work you do, not where it takes place. Proactively drive through our digital programme for employees through initiatives such as hybrid working, and also for citizens to ensure better service delivery. Bobby knows that success will mean that our workforce reflects the citizens of Cardiff, so that the council is best placed to deliver our services in an appropriate way to meet all service users' needs and that our senior leadership team will be leading the way and setting an example for other employers in Cardiff. At Cardiff, we believe that a path to diversity begins with supporting, mentoring and sponsoring diverse women and men to become leaders and entrepreneurs. Since my appointment as the Chief Human Resources Officer, I've worked with the senior management team to ensure that each of our employee networks has two senior management champions to support them and drive change at a senior level. As also, as a member of that team, I'm able to drive change myself, and to me it's vital that that change is embraced at all levels in the organisation. This commitment around diversity and inclusion within the organisation is a commitment throughout the organisation. It's set in our political agenda through capital ambition, and this is then developed into actions within our corporate and directorate delivery plans to ensure that inclusion and diversity is a golden thread throughout the organisation. I hope you've enjoyed meeting Bobby. And like Bobby, you appreciate the council is made up of lots of businesses working together to ensure that we provide services to the citizens of Cardiff that are of the highest quality. Although I hate to tell you, but there's only one Bobby in the organisation. They're our chatbot within our Connect to Cardiff service. But just so you don't think that's the only thing, there's a myriad of other opportunities for you that are wide ranging. So I'd like you to encourage us, to encourage you to follow Bobby's example and join us and get involved. There's loads of roles within Cardiff Council. We have professional roles such as solicitors, engineers, accountants, librarians, social workers, teachers, horticulturalists, planners, journalists, human resources, and that's just to name but a few. We've got skilled roles such as trades as gas fitters, plumbers, electricians, mechanics, road workers, customer services, housing and homelessness as a few examples. And then we have general roles around administration, policy development, contact centre, hub offices. We've also established an anonymised, it's very difficult to say, online recruitment process to ensure that all applicants have the same opportunities and there's no unconscious bias and we've introduced online interviews to make our recruitment process more efficient. As well as jobs within the council, there's other community projects that are important to us. 
We need to ensure we provide support to the young people within our city and the Cardiff commitment supports the vision of the public, private and third sectors will work in partnership with schools and education providers to connect children and young people to the vast range of opportunities available in the world of work. Cardiff is the first city in Wales to participate in the UK Committee for UNICEF's National Child Friendly Cities and Communities Initiative. Our ambition is that Cardiff will be recognised as a child friendly city, a city with children and young people at its heart, where the rights of children and young people are respected by all and it's a great place to grow up. We will work together to create a city where all children and young people can share their voice and have an input on decisions being made that will affect them. And very appropriately at the moment, One Planet Cardiff is the Council's strategic response to the climate emergency. Climate change is already shaping our lives. We're living in a climate emergency with stark warnings and evidence globally that urgent action is needed. If we are to avert the dangers ahead, our One Planet Cardiff strategy proposes a wide range of ambitious actions that will begin to form the basis of a delivery plan to achieve carbon neutrality. It aims to do this in a way that supports new green economies and greater social well-being in the city. I'd appreciate the op this opportunity to talk to you and thank you for your time. I'd encourage you all to take a look at our website and follow us on social media and get involved in whichever way you feel is right for you. I hope our paths cross again in the not-too-distant future. Thank you.